Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Lately, we've all been hearing a lot about FPGA. No, that is not the Female Professional Golfers Association. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. Now, they've been around since the mid-80s, probably longer than many of you have been around. But recently, they've started to become more advanced, more affordable, and more accessible. And now is the perfect time for you to start learning the power and control of FPGA with a pair of new development boards and some expansion boards or elements to go with them. You see before me the Alcatri Gold, the Alcatri Copper, the Alcatri IO, two flavors of Alcatri BR, the breakout prototyping board, and a set of female 2x18 headers. The Alcatri Gold is Alcatri's flagship development board. It sports an Arctic 7 XC7A35T-1C FPGA with over 33,000 logic cells. It offers 102 3.3 volt logic level I.O. pins, 20 of which can be switched to 1.8 volt, 9 different analog inputs, 8 general purpose LEDs, and a 100 MHz onboard clock that can be manipulated internally by the FPGA, a USB-C connector to configure and power the board, and a USB to serial interface for data transfer. If you don't need that much power to start out, then consider the Alcatri Copper board. It uses a Lattice ICE-40 HX FPGA with 7,680 logic cells and is supported by the open source toolchain project IceStorm. It's got 79 I.O. pins with 8 general purpose LEDs, a 100 MHz onboard clock that can be manipulated internally by the FPGA, a USB-C connector to configure and power the board, and a USB to serial interface for data transfer. The Alcatri I.O. is the perfect way to get your feet wet with digital design. The plethora of buttons and LEDs lend themselves to fantastic beginner tutorials that will walk you through all the basics. Rob, do you know what it means to have a plethora? Because I would not like to think that a person would tell someone he has a plethora and find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. Yes, El Guano, I know what it means to have a plethora. This I.O. element has four seven-segment LED digit displays, five momentary push buttons, 24 LEDs, and 24 dip switches. Once you're ready to start prototyping, you'll want to grab the Alcatri Breakout element. This board has all of the signals broken out to 0.1 inch holes with additional holes to allow more custom work. We offer it populated with top headers, or if you don't plan on stacking anything on top of it, you can save a little money and get it without the top headers. And finally, for prototyping or less permanent projects, you can get a set of 0.1 inch female headers to solder into the breakout board. You'll get four 2x18 header rows, and while it will mean soldering 144 connections, one set of these headers will be all you need for your breakout board. While I know the thought of FPGA can be scary, with tales of how difficult VHDL and Verilog can be for the uninitiated, Alcatri has come up with a kinder, gentler solution. Alcatri Labs is an IDE that will help you find your way around FPGA programming, but still works with VHDL and Verilog, which should be helpful as you progress. So if you want to start harnessing the power and control of FPGA, and let's face it, you do, Grab an Alcatri Gold or Copper Dev Board along with the Alcatri I.O. or Alcatri Breakout, or maybe both, over at SparkFun.com. Happy hacking! Affordable, accessible, and advanced. Advanced? Gold or Copper Dev... 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 That's all, folks. Start learning the power and... Dang it. That was half a sentence from the end. This I.O. element has four seven-segment LED digit... <laughs> <laughs>